Hi, my name's Luke, and I'm a fisherman from Florida. In June of 2015, I moved to Colorado to take up mountain hunting. I don't have a lot of experience, but I've done a lot of research and I'm willing to put the time in. I am a greenhorn. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and I'm hunting beavers. As you can see, it's uh, been snowing out here in the mountains. This is maybe like my third time seeing snow. And uh, got a small game license. There's a bunch of ponds out here that I'm checking out. I'm in the middle of this huge field. You can probably hear a car going by because I'm about 200 yards from the highway. But there's this great chain of creek and beaver ponds right here. And I'm hunting beavers because they're the biggest small game animal out here and have the most meat of any small game animal. I moved out here in June, so I'm not a resident yet. And it would be really expensive for me to buy a deer tag or an elk tag. It'd be like $400 instead of 40. So anyway, the small game tag for an out of state for a non-resident was only like 60 bucks. So I just went with that. Here's my gear. That's my Marlin Model 60 that I inherited from my granddad. It was made in the 70s, so it still holds like 16 rounds. I got my fishing rod in case I got to fish a beaver out of the pond. Got my jacket, my backpack, and a sitting pad. And I got my Supernova 12 gauge with some turkey loads and a full choke. Well, I've been out here for probably like half an hour. It's gotten a lot colder and uh, kind of in a good spot where I can keep an eye on both ponds. A little bit windier today so it might be a little bit harder to see their wake in the water but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to see it. I've been waiting to hunt beavers for like three months. I decided to focus on that since it's too expensive to get a big game license but I've done pretty much read everything you can on the internet about hunting beavers and watch beaver documentaries and I didn't expect it to be this cold. It's only October 23rd, but it's pretty darn cold already out here. And uh, I've been talking so much about hunting beavers that my friends are tired of hearing about it. So it's pretty exciting to actually be out here and actually doing it. So I'm gonna keep watching and hopefully we'll see some little guys come swim out here in the next 20 minutes or so. Here's a good example of some beaver canals pretty much go the whole length of this creek here and connect all the ponds together. So I'm out here again. I didn't end up getting any beavers the other night. I thought I saw one on the bank of the smaller pond and it was uh, getting dark out. I had left my rifle maybe 200 yards from where I was standing. I only had my shotgun and it was kind of too far of a shot for the shotgun so I didn't take it. Went back and got my rifle and it was still sitting there on the bank so I had to take a standing shot from about 50 yards and I hit it in the head and I had to go jump over a bunch of beaver canals to go around to the other side of the pond to go get it and ended up being a muskrat. Which is not that great because muskrat season doesn't open for a couple more days. I didn't know, I'd never seen a muskrat before. But now I know what they look like and uh, I won't be shooting any more of those. I don't know if you can tell with my iPhone camera but there's already a, a thin layer of ice forming on this pond so this might be the only chance that I have before the beavers go into their lodges for the winter. A couple more weeks, this will probably all be frozen over already, so hopefully I get lucky tonight and get one while they're out and about. There's one of the main ponds, and you can see the lodge over to the left. Now it's in the center of the frame if you look closely. 
and uh, walked quite a long ways. You can see my truck over there, maybe a mile or two. You probably can't see it actually. I can see it, but you can't probably. So here's where I shot the muskrat the other night. He was sitting right there on that bank. And I was across the pond, maybe like somewhere right here. I shot him with my marlin and uh, he twitched and ended up over here in this marsh. I had to walk around and go get him. And now I gotta jump some, gotta jump some beaver canals to get back to the other side of the ponds. I'm gonna go back to my truck go make a sandwich and by then it should be about time to come back out here and sit on these ponds for a couple hours I'm back at the ponds and I'm in a spot where I can watch all three of them I brought my shooting sticks this time so I could take steadier shots and, uh, as soon as I set up I saw a beaver in that pond so I went down there with my shotgun because Two, three days ago I went down there and it didn't spook and uh, I thought maybe I could get away with it again but I think I spooked it so I came back up to my spot and I'm just gonna sit here for a while and chill and uh, hope I see one and if I see one I guess I'm gonna try to creep up on it with the 22 and uh, take a shot sitting down with the sticks so hopefully that works well once again I did not get a beaver I saw one adult, but I was too far away to make a shot, and it didn't come back. I saw a couple kits and a couple muskrats. I was only out there for about two hours. So, try again tomorrow. I ain't leaving here without a beaver, I'll tell you that much. Today's Monday, October 26th. It's cold, it's raining, and today's day four without a beaver. I've been at it for three days so far. And it's starting to get frustrating, but it's, it's frustrating because you only have like an hour and a half to two hour window to actually get the beavers. They don't come out until five, and by 6.30 you can't see anything. You're not allowed to hunt after dark you're allowed a half an hour after dark but you can't see anything past 6 30 anyway so i'm trying not to get discouraged but i knew coming out here that there was a, a very good chance of not getting any beaver even though it seems like it would be a, a simple task to accomplish but just from trying to catch different species of fish i know how hard it can be to get to target something successfully when you've never done it before and you don't have a mentor to show you what to do. It took me like two years to catch a redfish of trying all kinds of stupid stuff and just doing the wrong stuff. Now I can go out and I can catch redfish, you know, probably like 80% of the times I go fishing in Florida. So I just gotta stay focused and uh, and not get discouraged. I'm gonna go out. It's supposed to clear up and stop raining around noon. We'll see if that happens, but even if it doesn't, I'm still going out in my plastic suit. I don't care. I'm gonna try some different tactics today. I'm gonna to go up to Gore Creek where I saw beavers active during the day. I'm gonna sit over those ponds during the day and try to get one up there. There's no hunters out here. All the hunters left yesterday because it's now Monday. All the weekend warriors left the area. And uh, if I don't get one up at Gore Creek, I'm going to go back to the same ponds that I've been sitting on for three days. But I'm going to go around to the other side and sit in the timber line where I'm more concealed and just try to get in with a rifle and forget trying to get within 40 yards and shotgun them because that's just not working. So we're going to keep at it, see what happens. I got to go into town right now to get gas. So that's a good hour drive. And then. Uh, I'll be headed up to Gore Creek after that. All right, well, I'm back from town. It stopped raining, warmed up a lot. It's quite warm out now. It's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. I destroyed a bunch of fried chicken that I got in town. So I got a full tank of gas and a full belly. 
I just finished sighting in my rifle off the sticks. Make sure that it's uh, accurate from that position. And uh, right now I'm basically across the street from the two main ponds. You can probably see them right over there. Instead of messing with those today, or at least for now, I'm gonna go up the Forest Service Road up to Gore Creek, where I saw some uh, a lot of beaver activity during the day last time I was up there. And uh, yesterday was Sunday, and while I was doing my scouting, there was just flocks of hunters leaving the area, so I feel a lot better about hunting in that area. And uh, I'm gonna drive up there and see what's going on, and I might try to get back to the ponds by four o'clock and then try hunting the other side from those from that tree line instead of from the roadside. So before I was just walking the 200 yards from the road to the pond. And uh, I'm giving up on that for now, so. Let's go up to those ponds, up in the mountains, see what's going on over there. All right, y'all, here's what's going on. It is day five of me trying to get a beaver. And uh, I haven't had any luck yet. As you can see, it's snowing pretty hard. It's been snowing for several hours. I went to the beaver ponds this morning and there was no beaver activity. Last night, I went out and I went behind the ponds this time as a strategy. And, uh, I actually found quite a few beavers like chilling out behind the pond. So got my shooting sticks out. I saw this one fat beaver sitting on the dam eating a stick. I got my shooting sticks out and I uh, steadied my rifle on the sticks, took a headshot from about 50 yards and the beaver did a backflip into the water. I don't know if I hit him or if I scared him, but I could not find the beaver. I went down there. I messed around looking in every canal, looking all over the pond, could not find that beaver. Maybe he went, maybe I didn't hit him or maybe he was injured and went into his lodge and stayed in there. So an hour later, after I'd been looking at other ponds, I went back to the pond that I shot the one beaver and I saw this other beaver just sitting there in the marsh eating sticks, but it was in a area that I couldn't get to if I shot it. So, I mean, now I kind of regret letting it go, but maybe I could have spent a lot more time trying to get it out of the water somehow. But that's where we're at now, and um, I'm out here in the off the side of the road. I'm going to cut up some. I'm going to take a few aspen branches with my hatchet and shave them down a little bit and throw them next to the dam. So I'm going to try to bait these beavers right now today with uh, some fresh cut aspen. Well, I'm all set up at the pond. I only brought my rifle. I baited the, uh, I put the aspen out by the dam on this side. I'm behind the pond again. So I, I saw more beavers yesterday behind the pond, so. It's quite early. It's probably 4.30. So, I feel like that should give me plenty of time. I hope I see them. They better be here. This is getting ridiculous. Well, y'all, I did it. There he is, and he is a big, big old beaver. His body is probably 24 inches, probably more. With the tail, I'd say he's a good 36 inches. I had to wade quite far into the pond to go get him. I shot it dead from 50 yards over these willow bushes. I could see him from this ridge up here and he was eating on some sticks. So instead of rushing a shot, I took my time, 
I came back this way so he wouldn't see me come down the hill. I got behind those willow bushes and I popped him. Looks like I got him right behind the head and it dropped him dead so it must have hit his spine. I guess I'll have to see what happens. He didn't, he didn't move at all. He dropped right when I hit him. He fell right and laid right there where he was. So I went up there to where I was chilling, got my fishing rod with a big ass treble hook on there. I didn't end up using it. I ended up just having to wait out there and get him. So now I gotta walk back to my truck, which is at the top of this ridge right here. You can kind of see the road. It's just right there on the road. <laughs> you know what? It took me five days to get this beaver. I came out here every day trying to get the beavers, trying to get the beavers, but I didn't know what I was doing. Now I know to look for them eating in the bushes and try to get them there instead of trying to get them in the open water. That would be my, that would be my method from here on. I could stay and try to get another one, but I am beyond happy with this one. I need to get it back to the house and get it cleaned up probably only have an hour of daylight left and I got to carry this huge honker back to my truck well that's not gonna be fun because I got to go jump over all the beaver canals back there so I got to carry my fishing rod my gun my shooting sticks my my butt pad my backpack so this trip really helped prepare me for future hunts in Colorado I mean, look at it. It's snowing. I'm from Florida. This is crazy. But, man, I'm excited. I got so much meat. I'm going to eat his meat. I'm going to make a hat out of his fur. I'm going to make a back scratcher out of his teeth. I'm going to take his castor glands and use those as lures. And then the, the dog gets the bones. All right. I got the beaver back to the truck. It was really heavy. I had to take like five breaks, <laughs> switch arms and hike, jump over. I had to toss it over the canals. Finally got it back to the truck. After I further inspected it, the, uh, I was aiming for between its eye and ear and I shot it like right next to its ear. The other wound that I showed you on the, uh, video during the day, it was the exit wound. So, I'm pretty happy with my shot. I was really worried that the 22 was wasn't enough gun, but it was plenty. One shot, one kill. Beaver down. Now I'm getting ready to skin him out. Now it's pretty dark. I some bacons. I got him on a cooler. He's upside down. Here's his beaver teeth. There's going to be a back scratcher. This is a big end. He's on a cooler. We got some tarps down. I'm gonna skin him out. And then uh, I'll get back with you. Well, I finished skinning out my beaver last night. It only took about three and a half hours because I'm a pro. But I think I did a pretty good job. It was really cold, really dark outside. It's still very cold. It's so cold that I can't use the, my phone to film anything because the phone just shuts off. But anyway, if you want some advice on how to find some beavers, go sit at a pond, watch for movement, and after a couple hours, if you're ready to give up and move to a different spot, that's when you're gonna see them. Beavers are rascally, rascally critters. They spend every moment, every day, avoiding getting eaten, and they're a lot harder to get to than you might think. This was my first hunt ever. I gotta say, I'm very satisfied with the way it went. If you don't get skunked sometimes, it's not nearly as exciting when you finally do succeed. If it was as easy as just going outside and shooting an animal and then coming back in, it would not be very interesting. I came out here with a basic game plan. I stuck to the plan. I abandoned the plan. I made new plans. I sat in the freezing snow for hours. I experienced the cold. I experienced Colorado. I had a great time. I can't wait to come do it again. 
I came out here to hunt and that is what I'm gonna do.